Hello everyone, my name is Justin and welcome back to Minecraft Prison Escape. Um, so we're still in the letter Yay or J is what I really meant to say, but yay. Um, today we're gonna do NFL week Week 16 predictions. I am doing this on Monday, so if you're not know he won the Monday night game. I'm hoping the Bears pulled it off though. Um, so we're gonna mainly be going after these blocks, these um gold ones right here. Because they're worth like the most money. There's no point in going in after any of the other ones. Just get every one of these blocks that we see. So the first game we're gonna talk about here. It's on Thursday night. We got the Tennessee Titans at the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm not quite sure on the Tennessee Titans record. I think they're two and twelve. But against the uh, two and twelve Jacksonville Jaguars, well, I believe Jake Locker got hurt last game again, which left Charlie Whitehurst stand, who is just not their best quarterback. Let's face it, it kind of sucks. So, the Jaguars didn't look half bad against the Ravens. He couldn't get the ball in the end zone, but they did get a number of field goals. Their defense stopped Justin Forsett in his run, which was rather surprising. Okay. Um, you know, they just looked solid to me. And I think the Jaguars pull this one off. 17 to 13. There's not any anvils either. Okay. Um, so now we're going to Baltimore Ravens at the Houston Texans. Houston obviously losing Brian Fitzpatrick. They're down to the third string, the rookie, Tom Savage, who hasn't had any experience. He went in. Uh, I can't remember if he, I think he threw one interception. Okay, but he didn't have a too bad game. He had 170, what, 10 out of 19 for 170 something yards. So it's not like he played real bad, but in Ravens secondary is torch. I see them getting points. Okay, but not enough. I think Forsett gets back on track. Ravens offense gets back on track. And the Ravens pass rush gets to Savage. And I say Ravens take it home 24 to 17. The next game we are going to talk about here is the Philly Eagles at the Washington Redskins. Um, so, Philadelphia obviously coming off a hard loss. They're out of the playoff picture right now. Like, if the season were end right now, Philadelphia would not make the playoffs, but they're still in it, obviously. Um, they lost to the Cowboys, which was kind of bad against the rivals. But um, I don't think RG3 can get it done here against the Eagles defense. I think Mark Sanchez gets a good win under his belt. 27 to 10. The next game we're going to talk about is San Francisco. Hosting the Chargers. It's Chargers at San Francisco. San Francisco have not looked impressive at all. They were people. They were like the team that everyone was predicting going to the Super Bowl. Colin Kaepernick did so good last year. Well, he kind of sucks. Okay. Um, I understand San Diego isn't the best team in the league, but Philip Rivers is having a Pro Bowl season. Okay. Antonio Gates is doing well. Um, and San Francisco just isn't producing the points. They're getting seven points here, ten points in this game. I think the score can be ten to twenty-four. The Chargers, obviously. Then we have Cleveland at Carolina. Well, Carolina. I don't even know who the backup quarterback is. Okay, but he did good. He won the game. Cam Newton probably won't know because he sucks. <laughs> um, Johnny Manziel went in and pooped on himself. There were two interceptions in his first game. You know, he's just not ready. He's not experienced enough that I think they should just start him all season and said, who cares about the playoffs? Go and get experience. But that's not what they did. Okay. Um, 
So I see Carolina ends up winning this one. 17-16. We have Lions at the Bears. Like I said, I don't know if the Bears won or lost. But, I mean, we can kind of concur that the score is going to be about 20 to 14. And the Lions are obviously going to take it home. I know people are saying, why is it only 20 to 14? Okay, the Lions have not been destroying. The Bears' defense have not been horrible. Jay Cutler is going to have a pretty decent game. That's going to be 20 to 14. Here we have, just when we have the Vikings at the Dolphins. The Vikings considerably keep getting better. Okay, the Dolphins considerably keep getting worse. It's going to come down to this. Okay, I think Bridgewater has a significant chance in this game. People don't think that, but I think he does. I don't think he wins, though, unfortunately. I think the Dolphins take it home 23-20. to 20. Next, we're going to talk about Atlanta at the Saints. Like I said, I don't know if the Saints won, but they've been playing really bad. Uh, hopefully, Julio Jones will play this game, and the Saints will end up getting the victory. Not the Saints, the Falcons. 34-23. Now with New England at New York. New York coming off a win. Good for them. They weren't facing a very good team. Okay. Um, you know, if they want James Smith to be the franchise quarterback, he's going to have to play well in this game. I don't expect him to win this game. No one does. The score is going to be 41-20. to But... He should at least put in some effort. You know, I know the Patriots have been on point. They're a good team. They're a serious contender for the Super Bowl. But as long as Geno Smith does decent against them, I think he's going to keep the starting role next season. They could go for a draft pick. Who knows? To get another quarterback because Geno Smith has not been great. But I hope he at least gives it the best. Now we have Casey at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh coming off of a win-two streak. They beat the division rivals, the Cincinnati Bengals, by a significant amount of points. Okay, They didn't beat the Falcons by that much, and the Falcons don't have a lot of wins. The Falcons only lost by seven points without Julio Jones. Matt Ryan started off shaky, but finished pretty well. The Steelers started off good and didn't finish pretty well. Okay, You know, what do you think about this? Okay, KC has just a good of a run game. Horrible passing. The Steelers defense is bad. Casey's defense is good. And I was always told that defense wins the game. I'm going to have to give it to KC 20-21. to 21. Sorry, Pittsburgh fans. The next game we're going to talk about here is Green Bay at Tampa Bay. People say, you know, Tampa Bay is going to get the first round pick. They're going to get Mariota, and they're going to destroy next season. <laughs> well, this is this season. Okay, but Green Bay came off a pretty freaking tough loss to the Bills. That really hurt their chances. You know, they're, Green Bay, who I picked early on, win the Super Bowl, but now it's not looking as if that's going to happen. Okay. Um, I still think that they're not going to lose to Tampa Bay. I think Tampa Bay is going to end up lo losing 3-17. to 17. But I don't think Green Bay has a heck of a game. At all. We got the New York Giants out. St. Louis. St. Louis has been up and down all season. As have the Giants. You know. The Giants have given up on their playoff hopes. Okay. Um, the Rams are trying to hang in there. I don't think they can make the playoffs at this point. But they're still trying. Okay. They're trying to finish off the season as an 8-8 eight eight team. Which I think it's possible. I do think the um, St. Louis Rams kick home the victory. I think Sean Hill has a heck of a game. I think he shows the New York Giants defense that they're not that great at all. And I say they end up winning this game 26-19. to 19. Interesting one. Indianapolis at Dallas. Okay, Andrew Luck having one of the better years of his career. Still at three. They've all been amazing. The Colts have been producing wins. The Cowboys came off a pretty big win here against the Eagles. When it comes down to it, 
who needs to win the most? And the answer would be the Cowboys. The Cowboys need it if they don't want to lose a playoff spot to the Eagles. I think they fight super hard, and they end up winning this one. 31-30. to 30. Believe it or not, yes, they will be, Andrew Luck. We have the Bills at the Oakland Raiders. Oakland, disappointed team. They suck. The Bills beat Green Bay. The Bills win this game 24-6. to six. We got Seattle at Arizona. Arizona has clinched the playoff spot in their division, obviously. Stanton has been performing pretty well. Okay. But the Seahawks have gotten back on point with Russell Wilson. Marshawn Lynch is running the ball well. And unfortunately, I see the Seahawks winning this game. Not by a whole lot. If anything, it's going to be a, like a 17-10 game. It's not going to be high scoring. It's going to be a lot of defense. Okay. And that's what's going to happen. Now, the interesting one of Monday Night Football, we have the Broncos at the Bengals. Okay. Cincinnati comes off a 30 nothing win, although it was against a rookie quarterback. Okay. Um, was against the Browns, and not too great. The Broncos do come off a win. I'm trying to think who the Broncos faced this week. The Chargers. So that was good for them. Okay. Both these teams looking like they're going to make the playoffs. I'm just not sure Cincinnati's going to clinch their division or not. Uh, Peyton Manning left last game with an injury. So is he going to play this week? I hope so. Okay, obviously I see Denver taking home this game, 37 to 21. You know what, 37-28, the Bengals are going to give them a run for their money. Okay, also, I'm going to give you guys an update here on the NFL playoff picture. So, let's, let me just open it up here. So, right now, the Steelers and the Ravens will face each other in the wild card. Steelers are the fifth seed, Ravens are the sixth seed. Also, the wild card would be the Colts and the Bengals. Colts are in the third, Bengals are the fourth. Okay, the winner of the Steelers Ravens game will face the second seed, the Denver Broncos. The winner of the Bengals and Colts will face the first seed, the New England Patriots, and that team will make it to the Super Bowl. So still in the hunt are the Kansas City Chiefs, San Diego Chargers, the Buffalo Bills, the Houston Texans, the Miami Dolphins, and somehow the Browns. So, first wild card game here for the NFC. The fifth seed is Seattle. The sixth seed is Green Bay. Green Bay trying to hold on there. Okay. The third seed, the Cowboys versus the fourth seed, the Panthers. Yes, the Panthers. Five wins are the fourth seed. Those two face each other for the wild card. The winner of the Packers in Seattle game will have to face the second seed, the Detroit Lions. And the winner of the Panthers and Cowboys game will face... The Cardinals, the first seed, still in the hunt. The Eagles, Saints, and the Falcons. So, if the season ended right now, I see Baltimore beating the Steelers. I know the Steelers fans are probably not going like I just said that, but the Ravens are just a good team. I see the Colts beating the Bengals. I see the Broncos beat the Ravens. Okay. And I think the Colts would honestly beat the Patriots. And I think the um, Colts will beat the Broncos. I think the Colts are going to the Super Bowl this year. I don't care what you guys think anyway. So, Seattle would beat Green Bay. The Cowboys would beat the Panthers. Okay. Uh, Seattle will beat the Lions. The Cardinals would beat the... Um, Cardinals would beat the Dallas Cowboys. The Seahawks are going to go to the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl winners will be the Colts this year. Andrew Luck deserves it. 
I think he's gonna get it. Okay, that's just my opinion. I know you might disagree with that, and you're allowed to. So let's go sell the stuff and see if we can't level up. Oh, I got a lot of this stuff. Still only a hundred. I still need a hundred and four million more. Oh my gosh. Well, I do want to thank you guys for watching. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.